from Fox 26 Houston, whistleblower alleges illegal hormone treatments at Texas Children's. And I believe Texas Children's Hospital is one of the or the largest in the country. I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me on that. But it's absolutely enormous. And a lot of other hospitals look to them for guidance, as I understand it. And I think recently there was some legislation passed to stop people from doing these weirdo transformer surgeries and hormone therapies and all that stuff. But it's like, obviously, it never should have gotten that far. But if you have to pass a law to get somebody to quote unquote stop this, do you think that that legislation is going to stop them? They obviously operate outside the scope of reality. So clearly a law is not going to stop them from doing their weird demonic sacrifice. But my name's Eric. This channel is called Report and Opine. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm absolutely begging you. I'm begging you, please. Come on, please. <laughs> It would help me a lot and cost you nothing, but if you wanted to help me even more and spend a tiny bit of money, you would buy my book, New York City 2020, Gotham Unglued, on Amazon.com. That link will be in the description. This provider would prescribe cross-sex hormones at regular visits uh, to healthy minors, to healthy children who were very confused about their... Right, and just clearly, before we get too deep into this, it is obvious that these weirdos performing these surgeries and procedures are answering to a different authority entirely. They're not going to say, well, it's illegal, so we're not going to do it. They're talking about mutilating children. So the law is really, I mean, it's it's irrelevant at that point, right? Because they answer to somebody completely different. They may know they're completely evil. They may not know and be brainwashed. It doesn't matter. But they are not operating under the same laws that the majority of Americans are. Sex and he would affirm the false identities they had adopted. And in my view, he would convince parents that this was the absolute best course of treatment for their confused child. A second potentially devastating- But their confused child is only confused because they, for now maybe the parents did it, I don't know. But in this case, the parents and the doctors are completely despicable. So who is really confusing these kids? I don't think, right, back in my day, people weren't confused about their gender. That happened like 10 years ago, tops. And it's not It's not just, oh, we're confused. I don't know if I'm a boy or a girl. No, somebody planted that seed. I don't know if it's the parents. I don't know if it's the teachers. I don't know if it's TikTok TV or whatever. But it's clear that people, that the children are not, are not being confused on their own. Yeah, I'm sure it's weird. Oh, I'm going through puberty. But like nobody was... Bro, look, without getting into too much detail, I went to school my entire life in the Bay Area, and this was never the case until fairly recently in the grand scheme. A whistleblower has emerged alleging physicians at Texans Children's Hospital continued to prescribe powerful transsex hormones to kids under the age of 18 after the medical system publicly announced it had stopped and after the Texas legislature banned the treatments as a matter of law. For them to just say, oh, well, yeah, we're, we're going to stop it. Do you think somebody who did that is just going to stop because you created a law? Obviously not. Nurse Vanessa Sivage worked within the specialty clinic and is corroborating documents made public by former TCH doctor Ethan Heim, which appear to prove the illegal gender affirming treatment for kids secretly continued. And for a doctor to advise parent and child alike that a hormone will solve their inner turmoil or their issue, whatever it may be, is egregious and horrific and it's child abuse. Um, and so I knew I had to come forward to expose that. Panel Sivage says her request to transfer out of the clinic because of her religious beliefs was denied and she was instead fired earlier this month. And a since alleged... This is absolutely pure evil. And this is Texas. This is not Oregon. This is not California or New York. This is Texas. It's absolutely evil. These people are maniacal. Texas Children's has billed Medicaid for juvenile gender affirming care, a claim the health system says it's investigating. A lot to unpack there, Holly. I know you follow this. Yeah, this, there's a lot to unpack here. That's a good way to put it. And there is an investigation underway. Um, this is just horrifying. And I'm not going to horrify our watchers this morning with the details of what is actually involved in the so-called gender affirming care. Yeah, and I made the mistake of looking into it because now I, I went even one step further 
further into this gender nullification process. And surprise, surprise, the number one Doctorb. Call 1-600-DOCTORB. The B is for Bargain. In gender nullification is in San Francisco. And I uh, found the website. And there's pictures. And basically what they do is shave you into like this weird turtle shell, man or woman. And then insert a what looks like a coffee stir or a Capri Sun straw. That's j- Now, that's obviously whelp but it's just like well if you want to be you're oh i'm non-binary whatever so i'm neither but if i'm trans i'm a transformer then i'm going to switch to the other gender but of course there's a hundred genders and then also a man can get pregnant i mean this is just through the roof and i think this is almost like a big ask right so anything less than this just doesn't really seem that bad now it is mutilation. Um, it, it brings a lifetime of pain and suffering to a lot of these people. And, and it turns you into a lifetime pharmaceutical patient. And they, these young people under 18, they certainly do not have the wherewithal to be able to make this life altering decision that is going to render them sterile. It's going to mean a lifetime of treatment. And I just don't understand the motivation of continuing to push this on these children who, in often cases, need a different kind of treatment for uh, mental difficulties. Yeah, but that's the thing is that the mental difficulties and the other treatment just wouldn't even be necessary. But somebody planted the seed in their head. And again, it could be the parents. And typically the parents would have, you know, the final say. But in the in the case of a completely maniacal manipulated parent then perhaps the law is the only thing that they will well, they're probably not going to answer to that and they're certainly not going to answer to god right this is pure evil sue any thoughts here you know i haven't really followed this but i've always said that you know this is a very it's very difficult and and, and for parents no it's not it's not difficult at all just don't do it right stop trying to play god stop trying to you know, manipulate and confuse children and turn them into the other sex and turn them into lifelong pharmaceutical patients. It's not difficult at all. Just stop. Sanford. That, that's another thing. They always, same thing with the illegal immigrants and the crime all over the place, the smash and grabs. It's like, well, we have to really figure out what to do. No, you don't. It's actually quite simple. The child, but that I believe that it's, it's the child should be able to make the decision by allowing them to become adults and then decide what they nope nope absolutely not and this is a former houston city council member okay and i don't know i don't know exactly what's going on i don't know how it works but the city councilors especially in new york and it's i mean they're completely rabid right it's almost like there's some sort of casting call that goes out to get these weirdos on the city council to sort of legitimize these wild takes right think about the city councilors in new york say well you need to document every single time you talk to a citizen it doesn't make any sense right and the city councilors want to they want to come up with these crazy laws and then when the mayor actually who i can't stand mayor Eric adams of new york says no we're not going to do that they override him so where are those people coming from? This is a really tangled web, and it is pure evil. They want to have happen to themselves, not the parents making the decision. Yeah. Marcus, uh, this is, yeah, I, I can't imagine being a parent in this situation. Uh, thoughts here? Yeah, uh, I, I want to make sure we, we, we highlight that this is a very sensitive situation for parents to handle. And I can't tell them how to run their household, but... Uh, I can say my dad, my, my dad had a saying for me. He said, you can do whatever you want to when you're out of my house and you're 18 years old. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not trying to make light of the situation. Which is kind of true. Fine. After you're an adult, then whatever, lop your junk off. But I know a lot of people don't want to hear this. And it, what they're doing to children is absolutely despicable and disgusting. They should all be put in jail. But it doesn't matter. Right. You could be two. You could be 20. You could be 200. It doesn't matter how old you are. You're not just going to magically change because some weirdo doctorb you know, gave you the snip snip. That's just not how it works. And you don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand any of that. What you have to do is be a mental gymnast to believe and try to convince somebody that this makes sense. I know it's hard. A parent wants to do the best that they can, the most that they can for their child. But I know for a fact that as a parent, my 10 year old 
is not going I'm not going to allow my 10 year old to make a life altering decision for themselves. I have to be the parent for them. I have to love them through this situation. I have to counsel them through them, this situation. I've got to get them the best therapeutic help that I can and then allow them to be an adult and decide for themselves what, what they do. And shout out to the whistleblower that brought it to life. <laughs> okay. okay, yeah. And at its most basic level, we've heard it a hundred times over, but it's worth repeating. You're not going to let a kid drink beer. You're not going to let a kid drive. You're not going to let a kid get tattoos on arms or face or any of that stuff. So why in the world are you going to just like this lady in the middle, the city councilor is saying, well, they need to make that decision. They absolutely do not. They don't make many other decisions. They go to school, come home, and they can't even do that correctly anymore. But this is completely diabolical. 